Over the last three weekends, Oregon State University students teamed up with health care workers have been going to randomly selected homes in Corvallis, offering up free COVID-19 testing. The participant administers a uh, self-test. So they collect their own uh, nasal swab specimen and put it in a tube and we we retrieve it. And Scientists Jeff Bethel and Ben DL are both working on the first of its kind project. It's called Trace COVID-19. And the, ulti- the ultimate goal of it? To understand the prevalence of the virus in a community, in this case, Corvallis, Oregon. In the first weekend of sampling, the teams visited 237 households spread across roughly 30 blocks in Corvallis. 80% of the residents opted to participate in the study, and 455 people were tested. The findings suggest about two people per 1,000 in the Corvallis community had the virus when they were tested. You know, if you randomly selected a person in Corvallis and, and found out if they had the virus, what are the chances that they would? And so that, that community level citywide estimate is at two in a thousand um, from the first week of sampling. Information that could play a critical role as the state starts to reopen. It's consistent with the idea that through the immense efforts of the community, um, you know, social distancing has to some extent flattened the curve. And so that's really encouraging. But keep in mind, the more the state reopens, the more likely you'll be to run into an infected person. What if you go to a grocery store that has 100 people? Um, The chances that at least one of them um, is infected is a lot higher than two in a thousand because you're you're sort of rolling that dice 100 times. Which is why the scientists hope to not only continue the study for several more weeks, but also expand it into other communities like Portland. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.